What's up everybody, Tom the Dilettante here. Today I'm following up on my software defined radio video to answer a common question I saw in the comments. And that was how do I go from here to here? Stick around and I'll show you how to get software defined radio on your Android phone. <laughs> A little while ago, I made a video on the new to me software defined radio dongle or SDR dongle. And you know, that video ended up being quite a hit on this little channel of mine. I had no idea there'd be that much interest in the subject. I mean, I know SDR has been around for a while, but it was new to me. And so I figured what the hell I'd share it with you. And I'm glad I did because from the comments, it looks like it was new to many of you as well, or at least it inspired some renewed interest into the radio hobby. And there were a ton of good and provocative questions in the comments as well. Better still, there was a ton of people who volunteered their knowledge and experience to answer the questions that were out there. And as far as I'm concerned, all you knowledge seekers and knowledge sharers are the true stars of channels like this one. So I want to say thank you and keep that shit up. Because to me, nothing better epitomizes a good hobby or community better than that type of stuff. Which brings me to today's video. There was a bunch of questions in the comments asking whether or not an SDR dongle like this can be used in a mobile device. And there was a bunch of other comments from people who have got more experience in this saying in short, yes, and here's how. So I took all that advice and I tried to make it work on my own Android phone. And today I'm going to walk you through how to make that happen. In this example, we're going to use my Galaxy S9 with Android version 10 installed. You're going to need an SDR dongle. In this case, I've got my RTL SDR that I showed in my last video and a Nuelec Nest DR Smart. Both of these seem to work the same way. You're also going to need an OTG or on the go cable. In my case, it's a USB-A to USB-C. And you're also going to need an antenna. I'm going to forego the dipole that I used last time, and I picked up this little extendable whip uh, from Amazon. I'll share the link to this, as well as the other parts I used in the description below. You're also going to need two other things for this to work, and that's going to be two pieces of free software. One is going to be a driver for the SDR dongle, and the other is going to be a piece of SDR software. In my case, I chose the free app RF Analyzer. First, let's grab the SDR driver. So just search SDR driver in the Play Store, and choose this one here by Martin Marnov, and go ahead and install it. The next thing you're going to need is some type of SDR software. In this case, I chose RF Analyzer by Dennis Mance. Let's go ahead and install it. Now that I've got it installed, I went ahead and put it on my home screen that I've got dedicated to amateur radio stuff. First, we'll use the driver and go ahead and launch it. And you'll see that the driver has been installed successfully. We'll go ahead and close out of it. And now we're going to go ahead and hook up the hardware. For the hardware, grab your SDR dongle and your antenna. Screw those together. Let's go ahead and extend the whip. Grab your OTG cable, plug the SDR dongle into it, and plug the other end of your cable into your phone. And your setup is pretty much good to go. So from here, we'll go ahead and launch RF Analyzer. To get things started, we're going to hit play. And just like SDR Sharp on the laptop, you can see you have a view of the radio spectrum, in this case from about 105.4 to 106.2 megahertz. Underneath that is the waterfall spectrum, where you can see where the signals are the strongest. And the way you navigate on this, you can either press and hold on the x-axis and move it left to right. Same thing on the y-axis to increase or decrease your range. You'll notice also that it affects the strength of your waterfall signal. So for us, let's bring it down so we can just see the strong signals appear. Now notice we don't have anything indicating what frequency we have selected, and that's because we haven't done it yet. Tap on this off piece and you'll be able to choose what modulation you want. Now I'm in the terrestrial radio spectrum, so I'm going to go ahead and tap wideband FM and turn up our volume. Sox pitcher Carlos Rodon was unceremoniously not tendered a contract after season with the team out to try to resign him in free. And you'll notice the audio is a little choppy here, and that's because of this line right here. This is basically your squelch. If I lift it up, the signal's not strong enough to break the squelch and let you listen to the audio. I'm going to lower it down so that the strength of the signal breaks the squelch, and I should get a pretty steady sound. Alright, let's turn that down again, and I'm going to pause the signal. Another way to navigate on this thing is to go ahead and tap the Hertz button. And here I can enter a frequency that I want to tune to. Let's go ahead and tune into the NOAA weather frequencies around 
We're going to hit set and play. So I see I have a somewhat strong signal over here. And because this modulation is narrow FM, we'll go ahead and switch the modulation from wideband FM to narrowband FM. And it's a little hard to navigate this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And you can do this just like pinching to zoom. Again, I'll go ahead and scroll over, and we'll turn up the volume. And just like SDR Sharp, you can go ahead and even favorite some of these frequencies. So I'm going to add a bookmark and call this NOAA Add. And it should appear in my favorites by hitting the star FM stations NOAA. Now just like with the last SDR video, I'm not an expert on this stuff. Hell, I didn't even know until the comments on the last video that I can do this on an Android device. So the idea here was basically to give it a shot, and if it was successful, to share it again with you. Now I'm sure there's a whole lot more I can do with this thing, but that's beyond the scope of this video. The purpose of this video was just to show you how it can be done on an Android device, and turn you loose to explore for yourself. Now so far, I've only experimented with SDR in the VHF and UHF spectrum, or about 120 to 460 megahertz. I recently picked up this hobbyist guide to SDR, and I'm going to start trying to get into the HF range here very soon. So if you've been liking this little mini-series so far, stick around because I'll be doing HF soon. Once again, I'll be leaving some affiliate links to the parts I used to piece this together in the description below. And I realized some of you tried to get this RTL SDR dongle and it was out of stock on Amazon. So I went ahead and picked up this new Elect Nest SDR Smart to see if it did the same thing, and it does. I basically didn't have to change a single thing. I plugged this in in lieu of the RTL, and everything worked fine. And so far, these little guys are in stock. Well, that's it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I sure did. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and it'll help support the channel. And until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante, going clear. 73.